Hi, and welcome at the expenditure demonstration. My name is Jeremy, and I will today guide you through our mobile application as well as our online interface. I'm first of all going to share the screen of my mobile phone in order to show you our mobile application. Our mobile application is available on iOS, Android, Android, and Windows devices. This is the home screen of the expenditure app in which you have an overview of all your expenses. A picture, if applicable, the merchant, the currency, the amount, and the date of the expense. In addition, every single expense within expenditure will have its own status. Submitted means that I submit the expense to my approver. Approved means that my approver approved my expense, etc., etc. In addition, the app can be used in order to add expenses into the platform. There's three ways to do so. The first way being a mileage expense, the second way, a manual expense, and the third way, a picture of an expense. I have, a pic I have an expense here. So I'll just take a picture of the expense. If that looks all fine, I just click use photo. And next, expenditure will ask me to add some additional information. The fields that you see here are fields that you can make mandatory. You can add fields here or you can delete fields that you see here. The group is a cost center, a category, et cetera, et cetera. Next, I'll just click the check, check sign and expenditure starts uploading the expense. Once it, the expense was uploaded into our platform, expenditure will start scanning the expense. This will take two to three minutes. Meanwhile, expenditure will read out the merchant, the amount, the currency, and the date. There's no need for me to wait. I can either add a new expense or just close the app. Here on the left-hand side, I have the options button. For example, I could go to settings and here change the language of my app. I could also switch it into Wi-Fi upload only, et cetera, et cetera. That's it for the mobile application. I'll now bring you to our online interface, which is accessible via manage.expenditure.com. And once you've entered all your credentials and you logged in, you will enter the dashboard of the personal role. Within expenditure, we have about seven roles, of which these four roles are the most used roles. The personal role is, of course, the role in which you add and submit your expenses to the approver, who is based on the cost centers approving your expenses, who will then go for second approval to the controller, who is also based on cost centers approving of expenses, after the controller approved the expenses, they will end up with the CFO role in which you have an overview of all the expenses, which can be used in order to create reports, make analysis based on all that data, and of course can be used in order to export the expenditure data into your accounting or ERP packages. I'll start on the dashboard of the personal role. I here have an overview of my expenses in this case, this month, but I could also say I'd like to see it for this quarter. And now it's on category, but I could here also say I'd like to see it per project. In addition, the online interface can be used to add expenses from your computer. So in case you have a PDF or a picture on your computer, you drag it into expenditure, we read it out automatically. Via the webcam, you take a picture of the expense, we read it out automatically. Receipt via email, imagine you book a flight with British Airways and you'll receive the e-receipt in your inbox. The only thing you have to do is forward it to receipts at expenditure.com and again, we will read it out automatically. Then there's the possibility to create expenses manually. You can also create a, man, a mileage expense a per diem. You can upload your credit card statement or transactions and create trips. The next menu in the, uh, in the user uh, role is the expenses menu in which you have an overview of all your expenses. So what you see here is, for example, whether it was in a foreign currency, uh, whether there's a credit card transaction found for it, et cetera, et cetera. This is the... Uh, this is the expense that I just, just took a picture of. So you see that it was all 
uh, read out nicely the merchant, the amount, the date, the currency, all the additional information that I've put into it is in there as well. The only thing that I now have to do is just submit it to my approver. Then there's the transactions, the advances, and the trips menu. If you have any questions related to these menus, I would kindly ask you to visit our help desk at help.expenditure.com. After the user has at all its expenses and submit these for approval, they will end up with the approval rule. As you will see, the approver has an entirely different dashboard than the user. It has the expenses here for approval. So per user, it can see which uh, expenses needs to be approved. So for example, from Fritz, I need to approve from the board of directors two expenses, the total amount of 76 euro 99. I can just easily say, all right, I'm gonna select them in a batch and approve them all. Or I can say, well, I wanna look into this expense to see what has exactly been going on here. And then I can either edit it, I can approve it or reject it. If I would like to reject it, we already give you the five most reasons of rejectment here. Or you can say, no, I would like to give another reason for rejectment. You just type that here and confirm. In addition, we will help the approver to approve the expenses by giving warning signals if something is up. So in this case, the date was changed. So we read out another date than the 8th of December 2016. It was changed. That's how we help the approver to make sure that no mistakes are made. Going back to the dashboard of the approver, I also have the unsubmitted expenses. These are the expenses which are already in the expenditure platform. However, they were not yet sent to me for approval. So for example, this expense from Jeremy Spiker was not sent to me for approval. In this case, it's a mileage expense. I can open this to already have a look at that expense. And I can then say, well, Jeremy, I would like you to send this to me for approval. So I'll send him a reminder. After the approver approved all its expenses, the controller will have a second check on the expenses. It looks exactly the same as the approver role, so I'm not gonna spend too much time on that. I'm gonna bring you to our CFO role. The CFO has under the expenses menu an overview of literally all the expenses available in the account. It could use this, of course, to make reports, but also to make analysis. So for example, how much expenses were spent this day? Or you could say, I wanna see it per quarter. How much was spent this, uh, this quarter per month? How much was spent per cost center? How much was spent per payment method? How much was spent per category? In addition, you can create reports. There's three sorts of reports that can be created. First of all, a VAT reclaim report. This contains all the VAT paid per VAT percentage. Then a standard report. Here you can use all the filters available here. In addition, if you would use, if you would add custom fields, they will also appear as a filter. So you could, for example, say here, I would like to know how much was spent this quarter, so from the 1st of October until today, by the user Jeremy Spiker for the cost center uh, cost center, there we go, board of directors. You can then say, I'd like to have a PDF, XML, CSV, or Excel file from that. So what will that look like? For example, this is a PDF. We will add the logo of your company, the address of your company, the name of the report, who created the report and when, which filters were used, and how is this summarized? In this case, per category, so for office equipment and supplies in the United Kingdom, follow number, date, payment method, merchant, category, VAT paid. If it's a reimbursable expense, if it was in a foreign currency, and the total amount in your default currency. This follow number is important because at the end of every 
PDF report, we will add the corresponding expenses. The last report a CFO can create is an accounting report. And here you can say, I would like to have a document which contains all the expenses that went through the whole approval process, everything before the 14th of December from our branch in the UK, run an accounting report. Expenditure will gather then all the expenses and you can then say, I would like to create a PDF, CSV, XML or Excel file from that. In addition, it is possible to export your data immediately into the accounting software that you are using. Of, if, of course, we have a direct integration with it. And these are the accounting softwares that we currently have a direct integration with. In addition, you can, of course, uh, configure your account to your needs. That can be done under the accounting, uh, excuse me, can be done under the company settings. In order to uh, set up your account, I would kindly recommend you to visit our help desk again at help.expenditure.com. Lastly, if you want to subscribe for the usage of expenditure, you can do that on the subscription. That's it for, uh, for now. I'd like to thank you very much for your time and please feel free to contact us if you have any additional questions on www.expenditure.com.